Welcome to the Art Lady channel. Today's lesson is on these very easy, simple patterned fish. And this is great for all ages. Um, I did them with seven-year-old kids. And here's a seven-year-old student example that was in second grade. I, I really wanted them to do two, but if they only had to do had time for one fish, that was fine. I like the idea of the two fish, so it looks like there's a school swimming by. Um, but what we did was we used some printing techniques. I'm going to first show you how we painted the paper. First of all, you want to give your background cover paper a very light wash of color. And I have the students just do it very quickly, horizontally. And I'm using a large brush just so that time can speed quickly so you're not watching me paint. And we do a very light, light coat of paint here. Now, if you'd like to do this other technique, and it's where you lay another color on top, Basically, the students can really do whatever they want to. Sometimes they like to leave it streaky so that you can see the different levels, layers in the ocean, or they like to blend it smooth. Or another option that I give them is to take their brush then, once they're done, we take, so I've brushed two light coats on here, and we take some of these rubbing or texture tools here, and these are just texture plates. You could take a piece of cardboard and notch the cardboard out to make these little patterns. Just make some little X's or cuts and or V's inside the cardboard, just so that it's not a straight line. And then you can just simply wiggle it on over the paper and it gives this beautiful wavy pattern. So this is just one idea for the background. And some of my kids liked to do it and others opted not to even try. Uh, they didn't like the look of it. But if that's another way of giving some fun background to your painting. So that's an option. And like I said, if you don't have these plastic um, tools, you could just take cardboard and notch out some shapes to make this pattern. Or even a comb, a comb or a brush especially a pit comb for thick hair, that would give some cool lines too. Uh, but once you have your background done, then what I do is I have the kids start painting their fish. And I give them one fish at a time, and if they have time, like I said, they start on their second fish. And what we do is we paint first off, here's my example here. We're gonna first paint a, paint a neat row of lines. And so, we just use, and I put my temper paints in these little cups like this for the kids, and I put them out on the tables, and the kids go to the tables that they'd like to use. What I do is underneath here, near the face, I we, have, we paint little rows of dots first, and then you can paint in your lips, and it's not lipstick that we're putting on the fish. It's just the f de to define the area where the fish lips are actually. And then we put on, do quite a large circle for the eye here. Now the fish that I'm using comes from AccuCut and they are um, a, a, a die cut that I cut out, that I purchased, and then I just cut out bunches of them. And that's the shape that I give the kids. Uh, but you can use a, a fish that you've cut out at home or a pattern that you've traced off the internet and cut out. And if you fold your paper in half, you'll be cutting out two at the same time. Um, but then I'm gonna go, then we go ahead and we do rows of, now this is gonna be my top fin. I just do rows of straight lines, real tiny little lines. And this is just a pattern in here that we place. Now you don't have to do my pattern. You can print your scales like this, just pressing down, or you can design your fish any way you want to. So that it's real fast, I'm gonna just show you how I print my brush. I just lay my brush on the side and I press, and you can just print your scales on. And then you can alternate in between, so how I did the layers of color, with another color. I'll show you with the dark purple here on my brush. And then go in between with a dark purple right there. And I'm going up close. I'm, not, I'm going a lit, overlapping a little bit, but not a lot. And this just gives the, the feeling of scales on the fish and patterning. It's 
magenta and purple, magenta, purple, magenta, purple. By doing all the magenta first, it saves me time. That way I can do it quicker. And artists always wanna use efficient use of time. I'm gonna do a row up here. I think it needs it up in here. And then I'm also gonna put in a little bit of the purple dots underneath. And then I'll give a little bit of a dark color inside his eye as well. Now you would do the two fish the same. And then what we do, once the kids have done their fish, I have them go to another table and we're using a piece of cardboard cut. Oops, let me move this out of the way. I use a piece of cardboard that's been cut and that we're using the straight edge of the cardboard and we're going to print the fish top fins and bottom, this back fin and then the tail right in here. So we go ahead and dip into the tray. I kind of dip it several times next to the tray and then I'm gonna do a straight row of closely placed lines that are in the fin. And I find that the printing of the cardboard, I have to replace after each class because this becomes very soggy. But that's okay, it's small. They're just small little pieces. It doesn't take me long to cut. And of course, I use recycled cardboard, so it's free. Now this back fin, these are gonna be diagonal lines. And I find that, with, that it's easier to print these than to actually hand paint them, especially for younger kids. This is what makes this project so successful for all kids in my classroom, not just uh, ones that are talented in art. So all kids can succeed with this. If you do the cardboard, and then this is down the bottom, these are smaller lines here. And if you take the corner, put a little bit of black in the, in the eyeball. And there you have your fish with some uh, beautiful patterning. Now, once this background dries, I have the kids, we usually do the background first, and then the, we can glue on our fish. And like I said, when they, if you do them in the same colors and patterns, they really look great together. It looks like the school of fish. If you only have time for one fish, what I have my kids do, let me show you some examples here. I have them paint some seaweed or they can do coral or paint sponges up um, on top of their, right in at the bottom here, right on top of the painting, right in here. So you can just add some seaweed if you don't have time to do two fish or if you prefer only to have one fish here. And this is just with a large brush. You can use nice skinny brushes and get beautiful pattern. But this is a real easy, quick, I'm gonna dab some, just taking, dabbing my brush to give the bottom here, the bottom of the plants. Um, but this is a very quick, easy, very successful project for young students. And actually, I kinda like the look of it like this, right here with just one and the seaweed. That's because my ocean was nice and dark and these waves the feeling of movement um, but this is something that that kids enjoy and are is very easy for all kids and i hope you enjoy making your own patterned fish with some fun printing techniques be sure to let me know in the comments how your fish came out and if you like the video please like because it helps me make more videos